Hello everyone and welcome to something new we're trying today. I'm gonna call this CD Game Grab Bag. I've burned a stack of discs with games that I think won't be very good. I specifically sought out early 2000s licensed titles and games that had a big name behind them, but probably aren't that good in practice. So basically, I've got a stack of shovelware. I haven't even installed these yet. We're going to be doing all of this live. Super excited to try our 10 games out here. And if this goes well, I'll do some more episodes because I've actually found quite a lot. I've gone down the rabbit hole of uh, early 2000s licensed titles. But without any further ado, I'm really excited to try these out. So let's just pop them in the drive and get started, shall we? Our first game is called Spy Kids 3D. Game over. I think I'll do a pretty good job of a completely unbiased review of these games as, you know, just how the game feels. Because I don't have nostalgia for any of these properties. One, because a lot of them were before my time, and two, because my childhood consisted a lot more of algebra flashcards and sobbing than Spy Kids 3D. Oh, well, hello. So far, I'm actually a fan of this music. I like this music. I like what we have going on here. But if the game could install, that would actually be pretty nice. I reside in... Uh, I... <laughs> this is where I live. I live in the void. Okay, 2003 appears to be the date on this game, if anyone was curious. Okay, I don't know why this is taking absolute ages to install. I think I'm actually going to pull this disc out and... <laughs> Good... Good error message. I... I love this. But I'm actually... <laughs> These are some good error messages. But I'm gonna pull this disc out, I'm gonna try a different drive, and see if that's any faster, because it's been about six minutes. So we're off to a great start with one that doesn't want to install. I've plugged in an uh, external CD drive. So hopefully, maybe, that might work better than the ones on the internal IDE bus. I have no clue. Here we go. Okay, already this is going a lot faster. <laughs> Here's our invisible country again. Yeah, um... Must have been a problem with my optical drive. That's really funny. Um, so Spy Kids 3D killed my optical drive. What? Why would I want to register my... Spy Kids 3D. I was born March 19th, um, 1900. Here we go. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm not giving Disney my social security number for a Spy Kids game. Maybe that's why it's called Spy Kids, because they just steal your information. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what this game is like. After playing those uh, bad data design interactive games, I thought it would be really fun to play some more bad video games. But actually, I really don't think this will be very fun. I, I think this is going to be a miserable, horrible experience. Alright. A video game that seems unwinnable. Yeah, because it won't even open. Is, is it even running? SpyKids3D.exe Yes, it's running. But not doing anything. Yeah, so the game really just doesn't want to launch, which is pretty cool. Um, it's reading from the CD drive I installed it from, probably some sort of, like, DRM copy protection thing. Uh, a lot of old games do that, even shovelware, because they don't want you pirating their shovelware. Come on. How hard can it be? I just want 
to play the, this bad game, and I just want to make fun of this game. How hard can it be to just open it? That's a nice noise. So I don't think the game- oh, oh, what? Come on. Okay, I don't think the game's going to launch, but at least, at least we've got this nice music going on. Actually, that's Disney. I think I'll get like someone coming to my house and personally shooting me in the neck because I played that uh, on, on YouTube. So already that's our first failure. I do something awesome like, you know, eating the disc or something if this wasn't a CDRW. But it is a CDRW because I know these games are going to be bad and I won't use these discs again. So I can just burn over them <laughs> and, and rewrite them with next week's awful shovelware. But clearly that's not going to work, so our next game is... Oh, good lord. That is horrifying. Wow. That is nightmare fuel. But our next game is Chicken Little, or as the uh, ISO is called, Pollo Pequeño, because I could only find the Spanish version. If you have any games that you think are bad... Rip it with image burn. Send me an ISO. Uh, my email's in the... Oh, hello. Even with not very advanced Spanish knowledge, I've been through so many of these installers. This is not my first rodeo with install shield, so I still know exactly what all the buttons are. Now, this game is actually two discs. The, the Chicken Little was so big that they put Chicken Little on two discs. So this is the, um... Well, this one's just labeled Run. So that's not ominous at all. But there's an install disc and there's a play or run disc. So that's, uh, that's... Why would you need 1.4 gigabytes of Chicken Little? You would think you would be able to fit a, uh... What is a .hog file? What is that? They, they invented new file extensions for Chicken Little. So this is a, um, actually a pretty advanced game, therefore. Hopefully it will be more impressive than Spy Kids, which was, um, so far the worst video game I've ever played because it didn't even play. How do you make a game out of the story of Chicken Little? It's a relatively simple fable, uh, and I don't understand how you turn that into 1.4 gigabytes of content. So that's kind of the, um, the problem with shovelware, just taking, it'll probably be a mini game collection, uh, like the Spy Kids 3D one was, or, you know, as I could see from the game files. But anyway, that's the thing with shovelware, you just take a, a known character and just shove them into a lazy, like, mini-game collection with recycled assets and that sort of thing. Uh, and they're often not very fun. Okay, um, I'd assume this is why this game had, like, such big files. It's why it's spread across two discs, because all of these .bik files that are going in the FMV directory, those are video files uh, in the bank video format. So... Yeah, it's it's just all FMV, so it's probably maybe like an hour of relatively simple gameplay that's just filled in with FMV. I really should have installed all of these prior to filming. Jeez, uh, I, I thought it would be cool to install them on camera, but it's actually just a big waste of time. <laughs> Excellent, here we go. I hope Chicken Little work. Yes! Muy alta. What does this do? Okay, that's custom. That's... Activate rat with camera? What are these options? 
Invert the vision of the O. Oh, it's the mouse. <laughs> it's the computer mouse. I'm so stupid. Yes, I would like to use the mouse for the camera. I thought, oh my god, I thought I was turning on something like Super Mario 64. I thought there was going to be like a a rat that followed me around with a camera like the um like the little camera guy in Super Mario. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Oh. No. Why? Why does Chicken Little have Securum DRM? Why did they put Why did they put DRM on Chicken Little? What the hell? Okay, I'm I'm mad now. Um Wow. Okay. Let's at least watch some of the FMV. Alien ship? What kind of chicken little game is this? Okay, that this actually looks good. Well, that's that's good lighting. I mean, the FMV cutscenes look well animated. Yeah, good camera work on the FMV. Here, I'll put this in full screen so you can see the crust. <laughs> what is happening? How is this a Chicken Little game? I would love to know what is going on here. Jeez. I sure would love to know what this game is like. But unfortunately, DRM. Why is there DRM in a Chicken Little game? I know I've said that already, but that is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. So, uh, that's, that's Chicken Little, that's what it looks like. Thanks, Sony. I think they made secure on DRM. Uh, time for the next one. Mystery Hasbro game is what the, the disc says, so I don't even know what this game is. Uh, let's, let's go for it. Oh, oh, it's Family Game Night. So, it's a... Oh no. Oh, why did they do this? So it's a mini game collection, but you have to install every game separately. Uh I'm going to go ahead and go for Yahtzee because that's a very simple game that'll probably go the fastest so I can make sure EA why did EA make this? But yeah, um I can make sure it doesn't have DRM. The thing is, you have to pay for DRM as a publisher. So, so why did they buy DRM for Chicken Little? How many people are going to try and pirate shovelware? Okay, uh, it's really annoying that you have to install every single game separately, but... It's... what? Okay, so you can't launch it from the launcher. Great start. So, hopefully, this won't be bad. 2007? Wow. The whole CD-ROM software craze was a lot before 2007. Have fun? I'll try. Okay. Okay. I'm liking Yahtzee so far. The, um... The royalty-free music is going... Very hard. Oh no, that does not look good. Uh, I am... Burn... Burnjulum. That's me. 
Ababa. That's me. Versus the computer. Okay, I want to see with friends. What's that like? Okay, so it's just a way to, um, like, do multiplayer. You hand the mouse to the next person. Uh, versus the computer. It's... Wow. That graphic goes really hard. Um, easy, because I'm bad at this, and I haven't played in a while. Sun and bird. They're all hoping to achieve a high score. Now that's actually what you do in a game, believe it or not. Okay, so at least... At least the AI does it quickly. I hate in games when it makes you sit through, uh, like, the AI doing things really slowly. In a board game, it really helps to actually see what the AI is doing without taking, like, 30 minutes uh, to see the, the next one. Okay, so there we go. Sorry, I forgot what I was doing when I clicked three of a kind. I've now remembered how to play Yahtzee. Uh, this is actually fun. I, I like this. Uh, hello? There we go. So, the, the music is absolute fire. It seems like it's going to be actually a good game. I'm impressed. I like it. We're going to install the game of life. EA did a good job on this one. EA really pulled through. What about Clue as well? But yeah, these are just board games on CD-ROM. Nothing remarkable, but much better than the other two that um, didn't launch or had freaking DRM. Like, that is evil. I now have another reason to, to dislike Disney. DRM. In, in chicken li- I'm never going to get over it. Uh... I'll always be insecure about my little chicken, won't I? Okay, the game of life is a pretty big file. Too much for my uh, 4X HP CD burner to handle, it looks like. Oh, never mind. Here it is. It's not 9.28 a.m. I would not be prepared for this at 9.28 in the morning. Game of... of leaf. I'm gonna take the CD out. See if it has any DRM at all. Nope. Runs fine with the CD removed. That's awesome. See, good job, Hasbro. You did a good thing. I swear, I swear I've heard this music before. This is in um, Garfield Kart. I swear this exact music is in Garfield Kart. Wow, not a lot of people made this. Oh, never mind. A lot of people made this. Enhanced play. Novice AI. We're gonna just all AI. This is John Life uh, of the Game of Life. Here we go. I, I like the art style here. I've actually never... Nah. I've actually never played the Game of Life. <laughs> that was the goofy car sound effect. Okay. Okay, we'll be a uh, we'll be an entertainer because um yeah.
This is, uh, just like my real life. Uh, oh? Oh? Can we skip the AI? Because... I don't wanna... I don't wanna sit through... Okay, I don't wanna sit through six AI players, or sorry, five AI players all taking their turns. I actually... I actually like this! I'm reluctant to call it shovelware, because, yes, it's a licensed property that's been turned into a video game. But it's not like, um... It wouldn't be like taking the characters from Christmas Carol and putting them in a platformer, or, or something like that. It's... It's just a digitized version of the board game. Uh, and I, I like that. That's pretty cool. So, this is, uh, by all means, the best game that we've played tonight, and hopefully won't continue to be so, but I'm actually a fan of this. I'll keep this disc around, I'll install the rest of the games, but for now, here's Frogger. I've heard that this is really awful, uh, that all the modern versions of Frogger are really bad, because it's taking... A, a recognized name. Oh, yes. Yes, I love that. But it's taking a recognized name and just making a really, really horrendous game out of it. DirectX 5. Okay, it's also from Hasbro. So hopefully no DRM. I told you not to install DirectX. Why are you installing DirectX? So this is obviously a, um, wow, okay, um, I'll, I'll have to black that out in the video, or, uh, put a freeze frame there, because that was horrible looking. Is the game supposed to look like this? I think something's gone wrong. I think something's gone horribly wrong. Frog nuke? What is frog nuke? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Boom! I like that. That's that's silly. Uh, we'll try the video setup again and do software rendering instead of uh, Direct 3D support because clearly DirectX is not going to... Well. Oh, oh, no, here we go. Oh, oh. So this is the most annoying thing I could imagine. There we go. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Here we go. This is a funny little level select. It's running really slowly. Retro level one. I came here to cross roads and, um, yeah. Shit. Why? Okay. I don't know why people say this is really bad. It seems all right. It's, it's Frogger. I don't know what else I was expecting. Uh, yeah, people told me that this game was, like, horrible. 
I've heard, uh, incorrectly, then. Yeah, I've heard that the new Frogger games are really bad. Uh, clearly, that's incorrect. It's literally just Frogger. Whoa. Here we go. Okay, so do you have to collect every frog on the other side or something? I believe so. I'll get on to the next level and then rate this game. So far, I like it. It's literally just Frogger, but with a nice 3D, sort of isometric perspective. Awesome. This is the same goddamn level. Retro level 2 is the same. Okay. I like the menu sounds, they're cute. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can go on to a different level. Like, if I can just go to the, the menu and select... I like the little animations there. I'll go for Leaf. Oh, Honey Bee Hollow. Lily Islands. So you have... You have a number of different, like, worlds in which you can, uh, do the frogging. Whoa, what the hell is happening here? Okay, maybe this is what people were meaning. Uh, this, this does seem a little shovel wary honestly. Uh, taking, taking Frogger and, um, damn it, taking Frogger and, uh, trying to push it too far. This is not bad. Not at all bad. Uh, I've played a lot worse. But also, ooh, I like how the camera moves, that's neat. Okay, so you have to turn on the switches. I wow! That is graphic! The poor frog! Uh, what was I saying? I was distracted by that gruesome death. The If I was that purple guy, I would not be moving either. This is horrifying. And I'm already uh, running out of time. Hello. That was an awesome sound that the uh, yellow frog made. Oh, nice. So we made it to the end. This is actually kind of cool. Um, it, it doesn't feel much like Frogger anymore, but the non-linear levels are awesome. Uh, oops. I, I really like how there's not just one straight path and it's, it's turned into more of a puzzle game. This is a good game. This is a good game, and I will come back to this. I will play this again once I figure out uh, the DirectX settings, actually. So I can select two levels here because I've unlocked it. I can probably select two levels here because I've unlocked it. Not yet. Ooh, let's do uh, Spooky Land. Actually, let's... Okay, that's the furthest down you can do. Uh, until you unlock more levels. So, yeah, the video's all screwed up, but once I get that figured out, probably just running on an older system, uh, I'm definitely going to play this again. What am I doing? Oh, no. It's a maze. Okay, so... I might not play this level again. This is, um... Not the best. I'm not a big fan of mazes in, in video games or in real life. 
Okay, at least they don't follow you. At least they just have a set path that they... That they... Oh, yeah, yeah, but... What? No, I... I was in the other square. Ah, uh, fine. So I'm in a maze full of bees and spiders. This is hell. How do you get past this? <laughs> Damn it. I think you get more lives on this one, though. Um, I recall getting fewer lives on the first levels. Yeah, um, not a fan of the maze. Some, well, oh, hello. There we go. Not a huge fan of the maze. Some people will probably like it. But you're wrong if you like it, Noah. <laughs> Let's try a few more, because I actually like this. Lime. Oh, okay. Lily pad. Same thing. Not a big fan of this camera. Wow. You're a frog! You're a frog! You can swim! Wow, look at those one poly fish. Whoa! I was not expecting that. Okay. I can see what people were saying. Um... This... this... Wow, that's annoying. I can kind of see what people were saying. This, uh, is not Frogger. This is Frogger, but they tried to do too much. They tried too hard. How do I get rid of you bastards? They're so loud. Uh, this is Frogger, but they tried too hard to, like, make it new and interesting. If they just put more normal Frogger levels in 3D, that would have been pretty cool. But... What? Is that not where I'm supposed to go? No, that's where I started. Uh, it's not bad. It's... I don't think I'd call this shovelware either. But, okay. Uh, I, I'm very bad at this. It's not a bad game. I wouldn't call it shovelware. But, uh, there's certainly some aspects of it that could be done better. Let's, let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, frog nuke. I came here to nuke frogs and eat grass, and I'm all out of frogs. Ford Street Racing! I know some of the Ford games on earlier Windows versions, like Windows 95, are actually alright. Uh, obviously, this is a Ford advertisement, but damn. Okay, so the cover image is cool as hell. <laughs> That's a nice, uh, squished PNG there. Here we go. So let's see how, uh, knockoff need for speed is. Uh, requirement for rapidity, one might say. It took my joke writing team of eight people almost a year to come up with that one. So we've got a Ford Escort, a Ford Fiesta, Focus RS, just from the files, Ford GT... I'm just trying to order a new IDE drive because Spy Kids 3D did my drive dirty. But because Windows XP has been unsupported for a while, I can't even do that. Wow. Oh. Oh, good lord. Oh, Ford Racing is done. Get out of here. <laughs> There we go. Okay. What? How did I open? Okay. Uh, time for Ford Street Racing. God save the queen. Okay, here we go. Um, awesome. No, I want to play the game. There we go. So it requires some finagling for whatever reason. But here we go. 
street racing explosive. God, I hope not. That's not a good advertisement for their car, is it? Oh no, is that the name of the development studio? Who are you? What else did you make? Wow. We've got a, uh... FMV that looks like it's from the Civil War. Oh, ooh! Awesome. Okay, so already, this is shaping up to be pretty damn cool. This looks really awesome so far. Is this a console port or something? Why can I not just, like, use the keyboard? Oh, you thought I was gonna do that? No. Um, Seg, that's me. Team name, ooh. Derp. We are, uh, that, here we go. Yes. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, uh, we'll just do a quick race. <laughs> it looks a little squished, because this is 1440 by 900, but here we go. The car models look really nice. Oh, that's how you drive. Here we go. The driving feels very good. The game looks amazing. Uh, god damn it, I still can't drive a car. Wow, look at those reflections on the car. And uh, effort, effort was put into this. I mean, there's, there's good detailed scenery. Well, never mind, the skybox looks like shit. Uh, look at that mountain in the distance, that looks horrible. But the buildings, those all look nice. The cars look fantastic. Uh, so the tracks are modeled very well. The driving, I take it back, it doesn't feel amazing. Uh, it's not like need for speed quality, but it's, it's good. I like it, I like this game. Uh, will this be one that I return to? Very well could be. Uh, I'm gonna keep this disc around because, uh, yeah, absolutely could be playing Ford Street Racing again. I like this. Ouch. Oh, so it just selects a random track. All right, oh, so it selects a random track and a random vehicle for everyone to use. What was that noise? Okay. Um, don't know what that was. We press on. I think I know what happened here. Can't be 100% sure, but I think I know how to fix the, uh, the horrible noise. Let's see, uh, let's see if this works. Who's ready to see me live stream my BIOS? Oh no, the CPU got too spicy. I see. Um, 
instead of cooling it off, we're just gonna uh, turn the warning temperature up a bit. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna do it. Okay, so hopefully, with computer more functional, we're going to uh, return to Ford Street Racing, which is apparently very hard on the CPU. <laughs> so, I I've been enjoying it. I like it. Good game. Okay, here we go. Uh, try two of Ford Street Racing. So I can actually look past the fact that this game is an advertisement and just recognize that it's good. It's actually a good game. Um, I don't know if this was like distributed for free, but if this was a free thing, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect them to sell it for like $60. This wouldn't have been a full price game. But even for like 10 bucks, I would have been happy if I'd taken home this uh, CD and played Ford Street Racing. I really like it. Oh, that's neat. So there's a lot of cars here. You've got classic cars, performance cars, and hey, performance cars. And it looks like there's six in each category, two which you start with and four which you unlock. So it's not like the stupid data design interactive racing game where you started with, um, you started with actually zero cars and you had to individually unlock every single car for every race type. So you start with six cars out of um, 18 in Ford Racing. So you start off with a good amount of content, but you can unlock additional content by playing more. That's neat. Okay, so, um... Elimination, that sounds cool. I'll, I'll go for classic. I love the Ford Escort. Oh, awesome! So how many tracks do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve! Twelve tracks! That's awesome. So you start off with 18 cars and 12 tracks. So that's really neat. Uh, I, I would have actually expected less. Again, the car models look great. Image is a bit stretched out because it's uh, not quite running at the right resolution. But here we go. The reflections look good, graphics are fantastic, um, it's, it's a good game, I like game, game good. Yeah, I'm... Assuming that this game was like a promotional CD that was maybe handed out in dealerships or something, uh, maybe shipped in game magazines, although this is uh, maybe a little after the time of game magazines. It was a physical disc, so probably not just an ISO distributed on the internet. Um, but however people got their hands on this, it was either very cheap or free. So. It's a great deal. There's a lot of content here, and it plays well. I'm just not very good at it. Oh, oh, so they get, uh, they get, uh, blown up now. They just explode. They get the, the frog nuke used on them. I love Ford Street Racing. So far, Spy Kids Chicken Little have been absolute shit. Uh, Ford Street Racing, Frogger, and um, the uh, the Hasbro like Family Game Night. Those three have been good. So we have how many more discs? We have four more discs. This is. Cat Dog, Quest for the Golden Hydrant. Again, uh, I think this is a Nintendo, <laughs> not Nintendo, Nickelodeon. I think this is a Nickelodeon property. I am not familiar with Cat Dog. I don't got that dog in me. <laughs> I really don't got that dog in me. 
God, it's getting so hot in here. I've been doing this for about an hour twenty now. <laughs> this is getting it's getting a bit warm. Cat dog. Oh. Okay. So that's a cat plus a dog. Just glued together. I'm really confused. I'm sorry, I gotta look up cat dog while I'm installing this. Okay, this actually sounds kind of funny. Um, I think I'll enjoy this. Again, I've never seen the show, but I hope the game's pretty fun. Yes. No. Oh, it's a tiny game. Little baby game. So this is definitely like a 90s installer. Launch cat dog. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that was funny. It was like a, um, I clicked through it faster than I meant to, but <laughs> that was very, uh, Indiana Jones looking. I am Dinglegorp. Adventure! I'm interested in seeing what this has to offer. I don't know how much of this I can show. Uh, I don't know if Nickelodeon will get mad at me. But this appears to be just a clip from the show. Oh. Is this shovelware? This might be shovelware. I'm, um... I'm a bit ashamed to say. I... This is shovelware. I... This is really shovelware-y. What... What is even happening here? Yeah. This is kind of lazy, honestly. There's not much gameplay. I was... Kind of hopeful. Hopefully this doesn't exit to desktop. Hopefully it's back to the menu. No, no, that's exiting to, yeah. That exited to desktop, didn't it? All right, there was another menu option. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, uh, very Indiana Jonesy. I like that. Here we go, there's my save. Arcade, what's arcade? Oh, so it's a mini game collection. No. It's lazy, it's shovelware. Okay. Um, Taco Trouble. Here we go. So. Okay, okay, I know how to use a keyboard. Remember. We're here to make the tacos, not eat the Uh, the game is running, uh, extremely slowly, for some reason. I'm honestly not sure why it's not running well. This, this minigame is pretty fun, it's cute, little isometric perspective. Were I a kid who was a big fan of the show, I would, I would like this, I would play this. Uh, but, but I'm, I'm a bit ashamed to say that, yes, it's just kinda lazy shovelware. Where am I going? Do I follow the direction of the, the arrow, or is that where the enemy is? That... Okay. Why? I just want to walk here. There we go. This... This guy is not okay. Uh... You, you good there? You good there? Someone bring me the Wait, I thought I was supposed to, like, deliver the, the tacos. Is that this not what I'm doing? Depot, I... Where do I take this? Work faster. Work faster. Are you the one who I give oh, this to? No, right. no, you are a bully. You Where's tried to me? steal taco. Hey, what do I do here? There you go. Okay, so that's how the game is played. Uh, I, I see what's going on. I mean, it's cute. It's from the show, I'd presume. Again, were I a kid who was a fan of the show and, uh, you know, had some access to my dad's 386, 
I'd play this. I'd like it. But it's uh, it's not really the the most uh, in depth game. I'd say there's not a lot of uh, variety in the gameplay. Definitely not the worst I've played, but it's still better than the data design interactive stuff. A anything is, but it's not not too good, honestly. Time for the next disc. This is this is Candyland. So I think actually this will be like the other Hasbro uh, collection, where it's just like a kind of a digitized board game. Wait, what? Candyland Dora the Explorer. Why is Dora the Explorer in Candyland? It's putting it's like putting Master Chief and uh, Chun Li in Fortnite. Why would there be a disc and drive F? What? What are you... What are you trying to do? Go away, please. Candyland door. As it says. Um, no, no... St <laughs> There's too much going on here. Where did it go? Oh, here we go. Candyland. Nickelodeon Jr. Dura the Explorer. Viacom. I recognize that name. Uh, I I think they've made some uh, bad things. Oh no, my error is still up here. Bad boy. Ooh, that's some nice MS Paint art here. Uh, the art styles don't match. You've got MS Paint Dora the Explorer, and you've got a cartoonish but detailed and textured Candyland. What? No, I just wanted to skip the cutscene. Oh, it's Flash. Okay, it's a, it's a Flash application. Music is pretty good. New adventure. Can't use the keyboard to type on the computer. Uh, so probably like a mobile or console port sort of thing. Uh, because I said that, I'm gonna be... Z z not, not... There we go. Uh, the, the best gaming console ever made. Oh! Whoa! Super Explorer! Um, okay. So that's cool, it's Candyland. Original or Super Explorer. Um, I'm gonna do one, because I don't want to wait through the, uh, the AI turns. I made that mistake with Game of Life, I think. Is it not going to let me... Here we go. Mmm. So you yourself can only be Dora. Oh, that looks awful. The art styles do not match. Um, for for art reasons, I'm giving this game like a two out of ten. Oh, look, the clouds are animated. That's cute. Like, look at this mishmash of styles. Okay, it's it's also a little annoying that you can't uh skip the cutscenes. This is what I don't like about, like, CD-ROM interactive media. What if I just want to play Candyland, and I don't want to uh, hear Dora the Explorer talk for about 10 seconds preceding and following every move? I don't really need a narration. I don't need an animation of Dora walking. I... I just want her to go there. I just want to play some Candyland, you know? I selected one player, not two. Okay, I... I guess that is a little lonely to play Candyland alone. That is a little... a little silly. Uh, ooh! Do you have to click this one and then that one, or can you just go straight? No, you have to click both yellow spaces, it looks like. Yeah, um, 
it's Candyland, but worse. The, it's a shame. The game is all right, but it's annoying that you have to sit through all of this unnecessary fluff instead of just playing Candyland. So that's the part that I don't like. Um, also, I'm not a fan of the mishmash of art styles. It's like they're like, oh, these are two IPs that children enjoy. Let's just do the fusion dance and just glue them together uh, and and make... Uh, sorry, I hit my mic. And just make ugly Candyland plus Dora the verbose explorer. Oh, no. This is one that I've been fearing. This is a Bug's Life action game. The Bug's Life is, uh, or a Bug's Life, I suppose, is Bug's PC. That's, a, that's another property that I am completely unfamiliar with. I don't know what The Bug's Life is. I've never seen The Bug's Life, never um, engaged in that. Let me know what you think of my new capture box and my new mic. It's my first time using both. The mic is a huge improvement over a webcam mic, and well, my new capture box is DVI, so I no longer have to use S-Video, uh, which I uh, like to abbreviate as Shidio, because it's not very good. Let's, uh, let's try that in a different drive. My, my drives are being temperamental today. I have two internal drives and an external drive. So hopefully it's going to work on one of them. Okay. So, um, I'll let that think about what it's done. <laughs> Might as well go for our final game. Uh, while A Bug's Life is hopefully loading. This is Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Spellbound. Another property that I'm unfamiliar with, but it is, uh, it's pretty clear what's going on from the title. There's a teenage witch, likely named Sabrina. Uh, we've got a three-pixel ball here. We're going to restart again, actually, because I have a feeling the random error here is the, the reason that um, none of this is working. So, oh no, it doesn't want to shut down, does it? Time for the... Uh, hold down the button for a while. This has been about an hour of troubleshooting and 30 minutes of playing games. <laughs> but here we go. So we're going for Sabrina and A Bug's Life. I hear my drive's actually spinning up this time. Yes! <sighs> so I think this is Sabrina. Sabrina setup. So this is definitely an older game. This IP is probably from before my time. Whoa. Hello. Uh, sure. Run Sabrina now. Damn, that seems like a more of a threat. There we go, okay. I'm hoping it'll let me remove the CD. Uh, okay. No! I have to keep the disc in. Uh, okay. Why did it invert my display colors? Whoa! So it, whoa, okay. So it's playing with my graphics driver's colors in a way that I don't think I'm comfortable with. First, new player. Sign in to the witch's register. If this is your first time, click new player. If you already registered, find your name on the list. Then click full and Drell will help you with the next part. I'll awesome. Can can read that. Okay, got to cast 7 spells and and earn 7 stars. To get whoa! Harvey and Sabrina, wow! Forever. Okay. Be um. Uh, hello. Yeah, I Demon of the Void. 
Okay, so there's something wrong with how it's um handling the the graphics driver. That ice show in town? No problem. One more thing. I want a backstage pass. I think the cat is oh, oh lord. Wow. Okay, um This was a mistake. No, what? I didn't want to go to the desktop. I just wanted to Uh Okay. Well, the the shortcut is broken. First of all, um, boom. Let's see if this works any better. We're gonna emulate Windows ninety five, and uh, see if that works better. Windows ninety five emulation in. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now I'm getting yellow. Before it was just black. Uh, it was just replacing random colors with with. Darkness and pain. Whoa. So I can make things explode in my bedroom. Uh, of, of my my. Good going. You found the spell book. Here's lots Ugly of mask, black cat, magic vacuum, and a bag of candy. I really wish... Oh, it's a Find the Thing game. Where did the cat go? I need my cat. Oh. Are you the mask? Okay, it's a Find the Thing game. And you get three rooms. Three rooms, or, well... Three sections of the same room. I would classify this as shovelware. I would absolutely classify this as shovelware. Can I use my bomb here? No. Um, this isn't good. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, it wanted the... Hello. It wanted the mask, so I'll grab the, um... The mask. Yes. A black cat with shades. Oh, so, it, so do I have to make, like, a, a cool... A cool cat? Like that awesome movie that you should watch? I'm thinking maybe this this teddy bear will become the cat if I um is that a cat bed what is this no that's a dining room table you idiot where is where's the cat there was a cat come to me meow so it's a find the thing game it's not good um not the worst I've played tonight. Okay, so tier list. Number one, Ford Racing. Ford Racing was the best. Number two, Frogger was the second best. Number three, the Hasbro games, except for Candyland, were the best. Uh, I like, you know, the little digitized board games. Then, well, no, no, I do have to still put Candyland as number four. I don't like waiting for Dora to talk because I'm impatient, and I really don't like the Clash of the Art Styles. Sabrina the Teenage Witch is uh, the fifth best simply by virtue of it's the worst game that actually opened. And then the other four uh, were completely broken and just, just did not work. So that is... Um, let me look through my pile of bad. So that's A Bug's Life, which by the way, get out of my drive. Uh, and then, of course, Chicken Little and uh, Spy Kids 3D. So that is going to conclude it for today. I've been recording for almost two hours. Hopefully I'll get maybe like a 30-minute video out of this. This has been somewhat fun to do. Hopefully with all the kinks worked out, the next one of these I'll do will be a little smoother. Uh, fingers... <laughs> 
fingers crossed. But that's gonna be it for this time. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching this. And uh, yeah, see you next time. <laughs>